to bring thermodynamics into the conversation about weight loss and weight gain, kindly ask them to state where in the first law of thermodynamics it states that a change in the energy balance must be accompanied by an equivalent change in the mass of the system. When they inevitably regurgitate something about energy cannot be created or destroyed, simply propose that the energy balance theory is actually an inconsistent paradigm, considering the mass of the system can remain unchanged even in the presence of a positive or negative energy balance so long as the net mass flux is zero, which actually makes it erroneous to claim that the energy balance theory is an immediate consequence of the first law of thermodynamics. I know exactly why they call him the Dunnings-Kruger man. The first law of thermodynamics, law meaning proven, cannot be disproven, in human terms means that if you eat more than you burn, you will store it as fat. You burn more than you eat and you will lose fat. Mass and energy are not the same, but when your body does store energy, it does so as mass, i.e. fat tissue. And that is just biology. A calorie surplus isn't an energy shift. It's a biomechanical conversion into stored mass. And you can play semantics around net mass flux, but it doesn't change reality. Every control study confirms calories drive fat gain or fat loss not magical loopholes, not insulin, not only eating red meat. 